Good morning, Bon Center. Hello. Yeah, who's speaking? The Supported Employment Programme has been around for a good number of years, but this is the first time it's thrown open its doors to the wider public. By championing the right of every individual to be in employment, the Ministry of Equality hopes to break down the barriers and challenges that still exist in the community and thereby help everyone to find a job, including those with supported needs and disabilities, whether undergoing rehabilitation or prison leavers, and even individuals who just need some upskilling. Okay. Happy? Yes. Good. So happy. And against all odds, with the right support, they can shine. Celia Chartere Aris is an extraordinary person, born with a rare terminal illness. She requires daily blood infusions and complete artificial nutrition. Yet she enjoys a highly successful career as a special advisor to the UK government and as a multi-award winning campaigner and advocate for disability rights. I think there's massive misconceptions around disability employment. I mean, the profit margins speak for themselves. The economical benefits speak for themselves. You know, you look at statistics from the Purple Pound and you'll see the, the profit margins and the sale increases and the revenue increase. But it's also about talent as well. Disabled people over-index on attributes such as creativity, resilience, determination, the ability to think outside the box. In an ever-progressing and developing world, these are the exact attributes that we need and we shouldn't be shutting off such a vast talent pool which equates to at least 16% of the global population. But without employers willing to embrace a diverse workforce, the supported employment team's mission becomes an impossible task. Air Terminal Director Terence Lopez employs several staff with special needs. Needs. We have a fantastic cleaner. If you thought you had OCD, you haven't met her. Go all the time. When the airport cleaner kept walking into his office during meetings, he had to think outside the box. He came up with a simple solution. The cleaner would find either a red sign on the door or a green sign, indicating when she couldn't come in and when she could, an example of a simple readjustment in the workplace which had a positive outcome. Disabilities may sound frightening, but more often than not, behind the taboo is a very capable person. People with disabilities are just that at the end of the day, people. They deserve the same opportunities as everyone else, be it in employment, in sports, any aspect of life. And more often than not, it is the environment that we exist in that actually creates disabilities, creates issues. Not having a lift, for example, would disable me from getting into a room that everyone else can get in. There are different types of disability, but the law is there to protect everyone who finds themselves discriminated against, either directly or indirectly. Uh, that a person should be aware of their rights under the Equal Opportunities Act and, and be aware when they are being discriminated. Discrimination takes many forms, not necessarily uh, the most obvious one, where, which is direct discrimination, but can be discrimination by association even. Someone being discriminated by, for someone else's disability. So disability isn't a, um, a, a straitjacket. For the Minister for Equality, the message is loud and clear. A culture of diversity and inclusion benefits the whole of society and the supported employment team will help to achieve this. Supported employment is something um, I think, uh, as you mentioned, maybe has been seen as something that companies do as, as a favour, as, as a, a charitable act, which is great if people say that way, but there's so much more. Supported employees bring diversity and inclusivity to the workplace. Um, people as individuals offer different skills, and what we need to do is identify what individual skills each person brings. The words of St Francis of Assisi resonated in the conference hall. Start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible and suddenly you're doing the impossible. I think uh, we need to start seeing individuals as individuals, whether you have a disability or not. Different people have different challenges. You never know what's awaiting around the corner. And I think we need to value the skills that each individual brings. Uh, and what we're promoting today is that every person has an ability and they have a skill. And we need to identify this and realize that the workplace needs to be diverse and inclusive. And we all have something to learn from everyone else. My message would be think about people, think about community and think about what you can do. The burden of responsibility to improve the lives of disabled people and create opportunity, equity and participation is on all of us and all of us have to carry that burden of responsibility to do better and be better. 
If you're an employer and want to know how you can do your bit to create a more inclusive workforce, then contact the supported employment team on meet at gibraltar.gov.gi. It could make all the difference to someone's life.